Hey everyone, welcome to In the Beyond. Today I'm back channeling another timeless pick a card reading and I'm going to be bringing through a message about what's next, what's coming in next for you guys. So we have three piles to choose from today. For pile number one, we have the dark spirit moon with the little glass moon. For pile number two, we have the Roots card with this golden citrine. And for pile number three, we have the Winged One and the Rose Quartz Tower. So take as much time as you need to see which crystal and which card is really calling to you. And that is going to be the pile that has a message for you today. So yeah, um, pause the video if you need to take if you need to take more time to meditate. I will see you all at your timestamp below in the description box. And yeah, let's get into this reading. Let's see what's in the cards, and let's go in the beyond. Hey, pile one. If you guys were drawn to the glass moon as well as the dark spirit moon card, this is gonna be your reading, and I just think it's so cool that this card came out for you guys because I actually picked the crystals first so i picked this first and then the synchro like the synchronicity of dark spirit moon coming out with this little glass moon is just so beautiful i love when things like that happen but your message what's coming next it's very mysterious and magical i think you are about to embark on something in the unknown. I think you're about to maybe do something out of your comfort zone, um, embark on an adventure, something in the realms of the unknown, but let's pull some more tarot cards to go deeper into this message. Pile one. What is coming in for my pile one, please? What is coming in for pile one? What is next for my pile one? What is next for my pile one? Okay, so we have the four of swords, wow. Okay, another thing I was picking up with the Dark Moon card, it says Void. Um, that is speaking about the, the darkness and how life and creation came from darkness and it came from that void space. In our human realm, we kind of connect to that during our rest and our relaxation. So I feel like another message that wants to come in today is talking about um, this new phase or this new path that's coming in, it wants you to embrace the, the principle of non-doing, of connecting to non-doing, connecting to rest, connecting to that void space, the darkness, connecting to dreams as well, visions, um, daydreams, imagination, connect to that void space where all of creation um, really stems from. Ooh, yeah, we have the magician. Connecting back into who you are and your unique magic. And like I said, this is going to be a very mysterious and magical time for you guys. Ooh, we have the knight of wands. So a very creative time is coming. And the king of wands. Wow. Okay, so... It's very clear. Um, spirit is really wanting you guys to connect to the energy of the void, the great um, mystery, the the place where all creation has stemmed from. Um, I'm sorry if you can hear that. That is my neighbor working. Um, so the message from spirit is very clear. They want you to 
connect to non-doing rest and relaxation connect to the darkness um the inner spaces within you so you can connect to your own magic and your own creative energy as you connect to the void space like as you connect to however that resonates with you the place where all creation resides whether you like to think of that as like black holes in the cosmos or if you resonate more with like connecting to the womb space and the darkness of womb energy or maybe you connect to this energy through the cosmic forces of the night sky or you could connect to this energy with like the underworld earth energy the lower world so this void energy comes in many different um ways and through different realms Perhaps you like to connect to it dur during your own dream time. But they're talking about um, connecting to that place of darkness and the void. So you can connect to your own creative energy and you can come back into a really good creative rhythm and really embarking on creative projects. So you might need some rest and relaxation before you get re-energized to be very creative. Um, yeah, because Spirit is really talking about this new phase that is coming is um, a very creative phase, one where you are going to have heightened, heightened senses and abilities for um, creativity. You are going to be able to manifest a lot of things, your dreams, your goals, your visions, the things that you have um, imagined and daydreamed about and maybe saw in dreaming you will be able to use your manifesting abilities and all of your talents and gifts to bring those creative visions into the physical world and really manifest them. So you don't have to resonate with um, this being like creative projects or art. This could be anything. This could be any goal or any vision or any ambition that you have, whether that's career related or whether that is... Um, something more related to your environment, your home, or it in fact could be a very creative endeavor like art and music, um, designing in whatever way you feel like you are um, creative. So yeah, this is so beautiful. Let's pull a few more Oracle, oracle cards for you guys. What is coming next? For my pile one, what is coming in for pile one? What's next for pile one? What is coming in for my pile one? Okay, so we have lie on the ground yeah so this card is really talking about you know they're really highlighting this time of rest and relaxation and for you to really connect to that void space again so like i was talking about um the underworld is really connected to the void space um how the underworld holds all of that energy for rebirth and creativity and manifestation that is like the energy that you will be connecting to. Um, that is what is coming in for you guys. It is for you to really connect to your inner stillness, your inner peace, being very restful and relaxed. So you can then have the energy and the ambition and all of the inspiration to really manifest your creativity. We have play a drum. I love that this came out. Yeah, this is talking about um, after this void, this void time of rest and relaxation, you guys are going to be just so invigorated with creative inspiration. So whether you really play an instrument, you write music, or you might be more artistic, like drawing, painting, um, you could be like a designer of any kind, you know, whether that is like designing clothing or furniture there's just something very creative that you guys will be doing whether that's you know writing 
cooking, creating dishes, um, the list is just endless in how cre creativity can manifest. Um, so whatever goal or vision you have, that is going to be coming in as soon as you give yourself enough time to rest, relax, and connect to the void space. Feel your pulse, yeah. This is talking about um, all of your ability to manifest and to align yourself with creation and just be one of the many life forms on planet Earth who is very creative and prolific. I see this as like representing the um, inspiration that is coming in for you guys and all of your creativity will be manifesting like like leaves on a tree or like flowers blooming. There's just going to be endless, endless energy for your creative visions to manifest. Um, so that was such a beautiful reading. Um, that's what I'm seeing for you guys, Pile 1. Thank you guys just so much for joining me today. If you did like this reading, please like and subscribe and leave me a comment down below letting me know how this resonated with you. I always love to read the comments and I love to do these readings. Thank you guys so much for joining me and I hope to see you in one of my next readings. Hey Pile 2! If you guys were drawn to the um, Golden Citrine as well as the Roots card, this is going to be a reading. Let's see what's coming in for you guys. So right away with the Roots card, um, it says Reconnection. Um, what I'm hearing is what is coming in for you guys is a time of discovery. Um, very aligned with self-discovery. Um, really reconnecting to the magic and the power that you guys carry. Um, this card, it also, it talks about, um, you know, discovering the magic in our own roots as well. So like in our own ancestry and really connecting to deep, powerful um, ancestors and the magic and the wisdom that they hold and realizing that all of the, you know, knowledge and wisdom that the ancestors hold is is carried within ourselves and we hold that magic. Um, so let's pull more tarot cards to go deeper here. What is coming in for pile two? What is coming in? What is next for pile two? What is next for my pile two? I feel like the cards really want to be really shuffled. Okay, pile two, what is coming in? Yeah, I think what's coming in is like a path of um, discovery and really maybe like having to like dig deep and um, like go deep in your family history research or like just go deep to uncover some wisdom. But yeah, let's see what is coming out here. Ooh, we have the chariot. Beautiful energy. The eight of coins, yeah. The two of coins, okay, beautiful. And the king, or, I'm sorry, yeah, the king of swords. Um. Wow. <laughs> okay, so what is coming in for you guys is major. It is major wisdom. It is major it is like a wealth of knowledge. Um, so you guys were drawn to the golden citrine and I'm just blown away by all of the gold energy in your cards. Um, we have a lot of pentacles energy talking about wisdom and knowledge and material abundance. And then we have these two figures wearing crowns. So the, there's a lot here. Eight of Coins is really talking about like you working and really having to like work hard, um, put that work in, put that time in to uncover something. 
uncovering ancient wisdom, uncon uncovering um, information about like your ancestors, about where you come from even. Um, maybe you don't know a lot about your family line and your lineage and it's going to be a lot of work to figure it, it all out. But as you put the work in, you will be uncovering like a treasure trove of wisdom. Um, and it might not be related to, you know, ancestry. Um, it could just be having to do with um, like your own self-discovery. It could just be uncovering any ancient wisdom, any lost wisdom. It could be uncovering lost parts of yourself. There is going to be a lot of work that goes into some kind of deep discovery. Um, I feel like you guys will have a good idea of what that could be for you guys individually. But yeah, the payoff will be huge. Um, all of like the riches and the gold metaphorically is coming in for you. Like the, the reward, the payday is coming. Um, and it's just such a beautiful representation that we have the two crowned figures, really. Um, this is like representing you guys with this knowledge, with this abundance, feeling very empowered here with the king, standing in your power, standing in your truth, standing in your confidence. And we do have the chariot here. And this is a good indication that this... Um, what is coming in for you, this wealth of knowledge, this um, this wisdom, the treasure, whatever the treasure represents for you, it will be coming in very fast, very quick, because the chariot represents fast motion, fast travel. Um, so yeah, beautiful. I'm loving all of the yellow and the gold imagery in these cards. Um, but it is something that you will have to dig deep for. You know, you're not going to find these things um, by the topsoil. You will be finding the treasure um, deep, deep underground. Whether that is metaphorically speaking about yourself, whether that is speaking about a project you're working on, I think you guys will have a good idea of what the treasure is. Okay, so let's pull some more oracle cards for you guys. Pile two. What is coming in for my pile two? What is coming in next? What is next for pile two? What is next for pile two? Yeah, your cards. Um, I feel like they are kind of slow to come out which is just like representing the energy of you guys will be discovering some big things, but it's going to probably take a lot of effort. And I see you guys have been putting that effort in. And I think what's coming in next is like the rewards will finally be coming. Anything else that wants to come out for pile? Two messages. Maybe doing some grounding work could be really helpful for you guys. Grounding your feet into the earth. Grounding. Meditating on grounding. Meditating on, you know, finding treasures in the earth, in the roots. Ooh, we have hugged somebody. That's a beautiful card. Okay, so I feel like this card, you know, it's kind of talking about like that family vibe again, like um, discovering things about your heritage, discovering things about where you came from and who you are. Um, so I feel like that this card is like representing uncovering knowledge about your roots and about who you are. Maybe some of you guys watching this perhaps were adopted or grew up without knowing a lot about your lineage. Um, maybe you only had one parent or caregiver in your life and there's kind of like missing pieces. Um, 
and your ancestry knowledge and I feel like you guys could be uncovering major things around that um if that's not resonating I think you're just going to be uncovering things about yourself and about who you are what you're meant to do and um this could also be talking about discovering like soul family soul tribe people um really being firm in knowing who you are and knowing who you want to connect to and again we do have all of that beautiful gold again and in this card too we have all of this beautiful radiant yellow gold and this card says go for a walk i love that so this card is talking about connecting to nature and grounding your feet on the earth um really focusing on your root and your connection to earth maybe go for a barefoot walk even if that's something that resonates with you putting your feet um directly on the mother earth to really connect to the deep roots of of earth and of yourself and envision um you know you can do meditations where you envision roots sprouting from your feet and going through deep into earth um I feel like that could be really rewarding for you guys um as like a visualization and meditation but also yeah just try to go for more walks maybe and more walks in nature like if you have a favorite nature spot or park near you I think that could be really helpful as you uncover this information Ooh, we have the drink water card um, so this card talks about our fluidity and our connection to water and I am just blown away. Again, we have this beautiful sun, this beautiful yellow. I feel like this is talking about um, the seaweed is representing roots to me right now. So um, yeah, and we have this beautiful mermaid tail. You guys, as you connect to your grounding, as you connect to like your roots there is going to be this treasure trove of information being represented by the sun and this beautiful vessel so i just <laughs> i just feel like talking about connecting to the roots again and doing those meditations for grounding and connecting our feet into the earth and um maybe connecting to water could be helpful for you guys as well putting your feet into water there's just so much spiral energy in this card. Um, all these spirals talking about movement and moving on to like this new path. I feel like where you feel at home on earth and you feel connected to other people. So again, I'm kind of feeling like as you get to know yourself and as you ground deeper into the earth, you will hopefully um, know who you vibrate with and you will be able to connect to soul tribe and soul family at a deeper level we also have move your body so yeah the um spirit is really talking about you guys um connecting to earth energy grounding your feet into the earth moving on the earth um feeling your feet move on earth um all these beautiful figures i feel like they're kind of like doing maybe a ritual you know they're all holding hands on mother earth represented by the turtle here i feel like um this card is talking about connection it's talking about ancestors it's talking about all the things like that we've covered so far um the trees here are really um connected to you know family and heritage Something major is coming in for you guys as you tap into your roots, as you maybe look at your own family tree, and as you connect to potential new soul tribe family. But yeah, there's just a lot coming in for you guys, a wealth of knowledge, a wealth of information and wisdom as well. So yeah, that's really what I'm seeing for you guys, pile three. Thank you all so much for joining me today. If you did like this video, please like and subscribe and leave me a comment down below letting me know how this resonated with you. I always love to read the comments and I just love to do these readings. So thank you guys for joining me and I hope to see you in one of my next readings.
Hey pal 3, if you guys are drawn to the Rose Quartz Crystal as well as the Winged One card, this is going to be your reading. Let's see what's coming in for you guys. What is next? What is coming? So this card says trust and I feel like what is coming in is maybe um, a leap of faith is going to be needed. Just how birds take that leap of faith on their first flight. I think you are being asked to trust the universe. The universe has your back um, and you are divinely supported right now. Let's pull tarot cards to get a deeper message here about what is coming in. What is this leap of faith? Pile three, what is coming in for pile three? What is next for pile three? What is coming in for my pile three? This could also be just trusting that the universe is bringing you into a time of happiness as well because I feel like the hummingbird and the beautiful flower, it's just such a beautiful, happy picture filled with a lot of love um, and like divine radiance. So spirit could also be talking about trusting that happiness is coming as well. Oh, and we have the 10 of cups. This is major happiness coming in, um, fulfillment, deep, true fulfillment, like actually, you know, feeling just so overjoyed and happy with life. Um, the 10 of cups is often talked about as being like one of the happiest cards in the tarot deck as well we have the six of swords yeah judgment here the eight of coins and we have the nine of swords in reverse beautiful so yeah the message is is very very clear here um trusting spirit Trusting the universe that a time of happiness is coming in and also um, trusting in the leap of faith that you might be being asked to go down because we have the Six of Swords and the Six of Swords talks about um, like migrating and starting a new journey. It's not always um, one of like ease but I feel like with the cards that have come out in your reading this is talking about like starting on a new path going down a path of more happiness and success and really following spirit and taking that leap of faith and that trust um we do have the little white dog here and the little white dog is often associated with the fool card as well in tarot and um that fool card is all about taking a leap of faith and trusting the universe that there is a new path for you guys and we have the judgment card here judgment is about listening to spirit it's about hearing spirit hearing the call of spirit and hearing the call of the universe so this is really about you guys aligning yourself with spirit and aligning yourself with the universe taking that leap of faith and trusting that the universe has your back and that you will be on a path of more fulfillment happiness and contentment um, Eight of Coins talks about um, creative endeavors, working hard, um, but also it can also talk about um, time. I feel like you guys have maybe been on a path where you perhaps have felt stuck for a while. You've maybe felt a bit stagnant and you almost have don't have a lot of trust in the universe because potentially, you know, like you just feel like it's been so long since you've had a sign from spirit or it's been so long since um, you felt happy. So you kind of, perhaps this card is talking about like why this um, trust is so needed right now and like this new um, leap of faith is coming in for you guys to just trust in spirit, jump off the cliff, start something new, go in a different direction, and really trust that the universe and spirit are going to bring you onto a path of happiness. 
a brighter future, feeling so happy and content, um, emotionally fulfilled, and just like your heart will be bursting with happiness and radiance. And then as a great um, synchronistic message, the Nine of Swords is reversed. And the Nine of Swords is a card about anxieties, being um, kept awake at night by worry and fear. So as it is in reversed, this is talking about what is coming in, is you are going to be leaving fear, anxiety, and worry behind. You will have restful, peaceful nights. You will feel very happy and content. You will, you know, sleep well. And yeah, you're leaving fear behind. You're leaving fear behind and stepping into a time of happiness and really trusting the universe with that. Okay, so let's pull some more Oracle cards for you guys. Pile three. What is coming in for my pile three? What is coming in for pile three? What is next for pile three? Okay, we have you are not a victim. Yes. Okay. This is beautiful. This card is reminding you that you are not a victim to the situations that you've been in. You're not a victim to the circumstances. Um, the universe is not wanting to punish you or anything like that. You are not a victim to negative karma or other um, energies like that. This card is talking about you are empowered and you can um, go down a new pathway. You are not stuck or held back by anything. Um, it's really important to watch our negative thinking as we go through really tough situations and dark night of the soul energy, it can be challenging and hard to see the universe as a loving place again and see the universe as wanting to support us and bring us happiness. So this card is just reminding us that we are not a victim by the circumstances and the experiences that we have been through. If you've been through very challenging things, they, they, they don't have the power to limit your future. Your future is what you make it and your future can be filled with happiness and, you know, joy and contentment. We also have sit by a body of water. This card is really beautiful. Um, I think this card is coming out to talk about emotional healing. Perhaps, oh, we do have the rose quartz here. So yeah, perhaps there have been some dark night of the soul situations. There's been some emotional wounds in your past. Um, and this card is coming out to talk about soothing your emotional body, putting your self-care and self-love and your heart space um, as one of your major focuses at this time but yeah water is also very healing for us so if you're able to sit by um a lake or a stream or a pond or whatever body of water you might live near that is going to bring a lot of healing a lot of soothing relief and comfort to you water is just very healing um because of of its energy and its vibration and it's just its life-giving abilities so yeah water is just inherently very healing very soothing and calming Ooh, we have feel your pulse i love this card um so yeah this card is really talking about feeling your own electromagnetic energy feeling your heartbeat connecting back to your own heart your own self-love your own compassion, um, soothing emotional wounds from the past. So you can have that happy, joyful, radiant future. The universe wants, 
wants you to be happy. The universe wants to support you on your path to find happiness and contentment. Um, yeah, your guides, um, your spirit animals, all of the spiritual energy around you, ancestors, all of these um, energies want you to find happiness. So yeah, do the things that you need to do to maybe soothe emotional wounds, find comfort and healing in the heart space, so you can have a bright, happy future. So wow, that was beautiful. That's really what I'm seeing for you guys, pile three. Thank you all just so much for joining me today. If you did like this reading, please like and subscribe. Leave me a comment down below letting me know how this resonated with you. I always love to read the comments and I love to do these readings. Thank you guys just so much for joining me today and I hope to see you in one of my next readings.